We're trying to get a comment. Another twist now in the case against an alleged child rapist and cult leader. The head of a group aimed at fighting human trafficking is one of Nathan Chasing Horse's allies. 8 News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy is uncovering more and more as she continues her coverage. Can you talk to us? We're trying to get a comment. This is Jennifer McQuaid, a supporter of Nathan Chasing Horse, an accused child rapist facing sex trafficking and sexual assault charges. The 8 News Now investigators have uncovered McQuaid has been heading a program at the Salvation Army to combat human trafficking. They can be inspired to know that healing is possible. Here she is speaking to 8 News Now about the program last month. And while promoting a program to help survivors, in videos, photos, and posts on social media, McQuaid is seen with members of Chasing Horses' alleged cult, the circle. Sources say one of her daughters is one of Chasing Horse's wives. Wants him to come and live with her. In North Las Vegas Justice Court Wednesday, public defender Christy Holston arguing against the $2 million bail prosecutors asked for, requesting for Chasing Horse to be allowed to live with a family member. This family member actually works for an organization that uh, fights or combats human trafficking. This family member knowing the accusations which have been you know, widely reported. We've learned she's referring to McQuaid. We visited her North Las Vegas home where Chasing Horse would live while wearing a GPS bracelet, but only if he posts bail, which pro tem judge Craig Newman set at $300,000. Lynn Cupo heads the Homeowners Association in the neighborhood. I don't understand the system and how they work for the criminals. And we calculated just 0.2 miles away from that house where Nathan Chasing Horse could live if he's released from custody is Eva G. Simmons elementary school. We can't have him stay there. We tried reaching Jennifer McQuaid. Hi Jennifer, this is Vanessa Murphy. On Wednesday she was still on the voicemail for the Salvation Army program. Hello, you've reached Jennifer McQuaid, Seeds of Hope, anti-human trafficking coordinator. After we tried reaching the Salvation Army multiple times. Could you please call me? On Thursday we showed up at their Las Vegas headquarters. Hi, I tried to call you. Yeah, we, we, I got your message. Okay. Scott Johnson out of our headquarters is handling all media inquiries and I'm happy to give you his email if you'd like. I've emailed him, I've called him, I called his office, I called his cell phone. We need an answer. Was she working with human trafficking survivors? Scott Johnson is handling all of our media inquiries. Does she still work here? He's handling all media inquiries. Can you talk to us? And then outside we noticed McQuaid in the vehicle next to us. We're trying to get a comment. Later that afternoon, the Salvation Army's Scott Johnson sent this email stating McQuaid is now on a leave of absence, but he wouldn't specify when that began. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.